Africans, ministers and officials of 27 African and Arab countries are winding up a two-day security meeting in Egypt. The meeting sought to explore military and counter-terrorism cooperation. Members have been discussing draft agreements on military cooperation, conflict resolution and drug and arms trafficking. Several of the bloc's members, including Egypt, are locked in wars with jihadist groups who have killed thousands of people in attacks and taken control of some territories. The meeting in Sharm el-Sheikh is the fifth censored defense meetings ministers' meeting since the bloc's founding in 1998. The group was founded in part to promote a free trade area among member states. Well, Yasa Hakim is covering that meeting for us. He's joining me now with the very latest from Sharm el-Sheikh. Yasa. The meeting there has come to an end. What has emerged so far? Yes, um, the uh, meeting ended a, a while ago and uh, the resolution was announced. Uh, it was a 17-point resolution. But if you uh, discuss the most important, uh, notable, uh, po basic points on it, concern are concerned with uh, uh, performing or establishing a anti-terrorism center a permanent anti-terrorism center which will be based in egypt in cairo uh, as well as working together and cooperating in intelligence uh, information sharing in training uh, in uh, expertise sending expertise to different countries to get the experience of combating terrorism as well as establishing multinational forces that would uh, be uh, deployed around the borders of member states uh, in order to avoid the, dra the, the uh, drug trafficking, the infiltration of, of militants from borders and the spillover of arms uh, and uh, uh, terrorism from one country to another. So these uh, were the main uh, points that, that have been discussed and agreed upon by the member states uh, here in Sharm el-Sheikh. Well, uh, yes, sir, of course, uh, this meeting is coming against the background of that uh, terror attack in Brussels. Uh, an emphasis is now being placed, placed on terrorism, fighting terrorism, of course, that anti-terrorism center being set up that you've talked about. Just how concerned are the ministers there uh, over the situations in Europe and over the whole terrorism situation? Yes, uh, it's, it's a big issue. Uh, and what happened in, in, in Brussels has overshadowed the talks here. Uh, they have discussed uh, the events that took place in Europe uh, and the terrorism. Uh, that, and it just proves that all these countries have to work together cross-border, not just within the continent. Uh, there were five uh, European countries uh, that have sent their uh, either ministers of defense or uh, the representative of experts and officials to attend the meetings here and this shows how important uh, there should be some kind of collaboration and uh, and uh, coordination between Europe and Africa uh, a lot of the terrorist attacks uh, have come from uh, illegal trafficking as well and 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 that was a channel where terrorists will uh, move from whether from Europe to to the to our region or the other way around uh, either to join ISIL in Syria f coming from Europe or uh, in Syria, Iraq and Libya now and then sp spreading over to Africa uh, from these countries or the other way around moving on uh, from Libya to, to Europe and, and wrecking ha havoc there. So uh, it's been a main uh, point of discussion to, uh, to work together with the uh, intelligence services and military cooperation and expertise between both the European and African countries. Right, uh, Yasser Hakim for us there in Isham El Sheikh.